Mitch, if there were a crystal ball for jobs data, ADP initial jobless claims would be part of it. Now, after last month's bombshell, economists and investors are looking for clues today. In 45 minutes, we are going to have more information about the U.S. employment picture. Ahead of that, we're bringing Nariman Berevish. He is with us now from Lexington, Massachusetts. He is the chief economist at IHS. He is one of the most accurate forecasters of economic data, which makes him a Bloomberg best. Nariman, great to see you. Thanks for joining us. Recent data prove we are in a jobless recovery, right? As of June, we've been officially out of recession for two years, even if it doesn't feel like it. But how do the jobs data that we are seeing now compare to other recoveries? Well, this is probably the worst jobs recovery in a long, long time, probably since the Great Depression. I mean, as you said, uh, we, we're in a recovery. G the level of GDP is now above where it was before the recession started. However, we're still down about 7 million jobs. It's a lot of jobs to be down on. So, so it's a bad situation as far as the jobs recovery is concerned. So this is not a good picture, basically. So it's a, a bad situation right now, especially for those looking for employment. But for investors who are trying to get a, a clearer picture of what's coming, last month, ADP closer than usual, still 40,000 off, but closer than usual for the monthly jobs data. Is this becoming a better forecast given the times that we're in right now? Yeah, I wouldn't necessarily jump to that conclusion based on a, a, a close one for one month. Uh, but I would say generally the ADP number, the, the claims numbers today, and the, the jobs numbers tomorrow are going to show a, a situation that's better than May. In other words, the June numbers will be better than May, but still not great. So around, say, 100,000, maybe a little bit higher if we're lucky. So that's not a terrible number, but it's not a great number either. So kind of a... An okay uh, uh, Sounds set of like numbers tepid, on, on the employment front. Tepid growth, Nariman. I mean, if the ADP does show, just kind of back up what you're talking about there with tepid growth, which is what the ISM seems to suggest as well, what does that say to you about the future of employment here? Well, I think what's going on here is that businesses, after being a little forthcoming in terms of money for hiring, got very cautious again in part because of the higher oil prices and in part because of what was going on in Japan and the disruptions in the supply chains, that those seem to be dissipating a little bit at least. So our best guess is that going forward, next few months, businesses will become a little more upbeat, a little more willing to hire. So the situation we think will improve as the year progresses. Let's hope you're right, Nariman. We thank you so much. Nariman Berevish joining us there. He is the chief economist at IHS. He is joining us there from Lexington, Massachusetts.